Best show. Hey, Tom. It's Connor. Connor. From New York. Do I know this Connor? Yes, you do. Is this the Connor who plied me with uh, military caffeinated gum? Military grade gum, yes. Yes. This is a comedian. This guy is one of the faces to look out for. You'll see whenever those lists come out, faces to look out for. I don't know. I don't make those. That's not me. No, people you know make them, though. Yes, I am anti those lists. People you work with make those lists. I don't work with them, but people I know. Okay, because this is a guy, his name's Connor O'Malley. I don't work with those losers. And this guy's funny. This guy's one of the funniest guys in the biz. He's one of the funniest guys in the biz. Entertainment biz. He's on my faces to look out for. You like this guy? Oh, man, you got to do a best show. (laughs) Fresh faces. I got to do best show faces of 2018. Wally would be on there. Wally Wacky Man, Connor O'Malley. (laughs) <laughs> Avalanche Bob. And then you're just oh, going to be like, wait, what am I, it, what please. went, and that's the list. And you're just like, what went wrong with my career? Oh, good, but, or what, what went right? Or I'll put, uh, put, uh, Joe Firestone on also. Yeah. She's, well, she's probably dating Avalanche Bob. Well, you know why I put her on the list is because every list, she's on every list automatically. Yeah. Any showbiz list of of people on the rise, they're like, all right, we got Joe Firestone on here. Who else? Who else makes yeah, Who else makes the list? Look, I, I got to say, she's super funny. I did, uh, did an upcoming episode of her show, Doctor Game Show. Me too. You did. Yeah, I kept telling the callers I was going to beat their asses. <laughs> who are you paired with? Uh, John Reynolds, you know him? John Reynolds. So you, oh, man, that's a good one. I got Big uh, boy, yeah. Big time boy. You know who I got paired with? Who? Dudio. Who? J- Dudio, the, the guy who oh. works here. Because you guys were riding together anyway, right? No, we met there. Your Dudio is going to pick you up at the SRO? What do you think, me and Dudio share a car? <laughs> no, you share a room at a single room occupancy. So, yeah, yeah, we were... Yeah, we were staying at that hotel across from Madison Square Garden. Yeah, we, Penn State. I, I stayed at that hotel once. The with hotel like Pennsylvania. Four guys. Yeah. So see, it's a it's a nice place. A nice, a nice the first place. time I came to New York, I stayed there. It was a complete nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Who? I like the idea that someone comes to New York and they're just like, or they're or they're figuring out New York. They're just like, there's a hotel right across the street from Madison Square Garden. <laughs> That's that was probably the best hotel to stay at, and then and they, Madison Square Garden's got a stay up train station by it underneath it. Then they get there and they're like, "Oh, okay, this is why this, this is yeah." Oh, and how much was it? Three hundred eighty nine dollars a night. Oof. No, so bad. so uh, yeah, me and and Dudio did, but you got John Reynolds, man. Yeah, and maybe she was just trying to pair because I, I know Reynolds from Chicago. I mean, you know, you and Dudio are best buds. But wait, man. Oh, wait, this sounds bad. It sounds like I don't want Dudio on the thing. Well, you just see him all the time. You know him all the time. It's, yeah. It's fami- look, Dudio? Is he there? Oh, he, oh, he's like how mad he sounds. Oh, I'm here. Look, I had you at the thing. We did it together. It was a blast. I'm just talking about some fresh. Well, this the, the John Reynolds. He's on like TV shows and stuff. Tall, handsome too. Well, Dudio's handsome and tall. Yeah, but Reynolds is TV handsome. Well, Dudio's TV handsome also. Look, I say Reynolds, this. Reynolds is 1980s TV handsome. This is what I'm saying now. I'm changing my thing here. I'm honored that I got to do the Doctor Game Show with Dudio. If they want me back and they're like, and they start naming people, like, who do you want to be with? What if you had to do it with, like, um, what if Michael Jackson was alive and you did it with him? If I did Dr. Game Show with Michael Jackson, (laughs) that would be. Yeah. And some dumb game, some dumb caller calls in with a dumb game. And then my, I have to, like, compete with Michael, against Michael Jackson. I can say this, Dudio, you're my number one pick for anything. 
Number one. I don't care. They could come to me and be like, hey, you want to do this thing? Uh, they got uh, what's his face wants to do it. Uh, the, uh, the Robert uh, Downey Jr. wants to do it. Be like, yeah, well, I want Dudio to do it. So, Connor O'Malley dot com at Connor O'Malley. Mm-hmm. What's going on? What, Are you little, still off Twitter? Yeah, I'm off Twitter, and I. I How does I, it feel? Great. It's really great. I don't miss it you at all. You don't miss it at all. No. You don't think like, oh, yeah, there's a dumb picture. I wish I could. Uh... No, I just dumped. I just dumped Instagram over the weekend. How was that? But did you delete the app or did you delete the account? I just pulled it off all my uh, off my phone. I didn't delete the account. But you still got it on your iPad and your iPad Mini. I don't have an iPad or an iPad <laughs> Mini. You got an iPad Mini in your car. I have, sure, in my car, yes. I have an iPad Mini. I have two iPads. Then you have an iPad for the back seat. I have two iPad Minis, which equal one iPad. (laughs) And then in the back, I have three iPad Minis, which add up to one and a half iPads. I got to say, Dudio's going to be so mad. Oh, my God, the messes I make here. He's so so mad now because I said I wanted to. Do the thing with the guy from uh, from what you call it? What's the show he's on? Uh, Search Party, Stranger Things. Uh. Duty, I still want you. Dude, I would, I would, I'd say Duty would be pretty good too if they pair me up with Duty. Oh, I look, wouldn't, I wouldn't be this. too bad. It was a blast. Me and Duty did it. It's gonna be one. It's gonna be. It's one of the funniest things going. Right? It was really fun. I'll say. So, I'll say that. He's so quiet. He's so quiet now. I blew it. I get what do I got to do? Get a gift card for this guy now? Go get him a I... gift card to Panera. Yeah, or, or I get uh, a Lowe's. Yeah. Lowe's. <laughs> like, oh, like I'll go to Walgreens and they have that rack of gift cards that yeah. you can get. And I'm like, well, yeah, I got you six gift cards for ten dollars each. I got you a Toys R Us. Lowe's. I can't believe I can't believe that that was. Remember, it was like, oh, this is such a good idea when that came out, and that lasted for like ten years. That people still thought that that was like. I guess we still valued currency at some point. It wasn't just like uh, a number that you send to somebody on Venmo. You mean the idea of getting a gift card? Yeah, I remember. Well, yeah, I remember like getting like a Best Buy gift card. Like, yes. But it's just a bailout gift, is what it is. It's a, yeah. I, I think it'll go. It'll be there forever, as long as someone's in a car driving to a family member's house, and they're just like, "Oh no, <laughs> we forgot Keith," and then they're just I like, got "My wife, fifteen uh, uh, gift card yeah. to the Outback <laughs> Steakhouse." <laughs> then there's a Walgreens pulling. What does he like? He likes computer stuff. Get him this <laughs> Apple one. I again this iTunes thing. Great iTunes. No, thing. no, you get the Best Buy because you can get electronics or CDs. Yes, or movies. Yeah. Did you have Montgomery Wards in Jersey? Was that a department store? Yeah. I think we had that. Yeah. I, I like, loved it. <laughs> I loved Wards when I was a kid. Is that a Chicago thing? Like the I think pizza? they were headquartered in Chicago, yeah. Is Montgomery Ward's the deep dish pizza of department stores? Yeah, let's go to Ward's, get a deep dish pizza, <laughs> and... Uh, a hot dog that has cucumbers on it. Hot dog with a salad on it. Get some patronage jobs from our aldermen. <laughs> and um, hyper-segregate the city. Let's do that this afternoon. Yeah. That's a, that's a that's a, that's called a that's just a fun afternoon in Chicago. Yeah. And then go see uh let go see a Cubs game. Let's play. Have you, have you spent much time in Wrigleyville? I've never been to Wrigley Field. Oh, don't go. Why is that? Well, I'm allergic to vine, so I, that might be a bad fit first. You're allergic to what? Vine. Oh, yeah. Tons of vine around there. Yeah. The neighborhood is what's a complete nightmare. Mike, have you ever been to Chicago? You have not. I tried to call in last week. Mike was uh, giving me some guff. Ooh. Told me, uh, he's like, uh, what are you, laying in bed? Oh. 
And then he said, why don't you go splash? He's like, you got any water around? I was like, water? He's like, yeah, go splash, splash your face. In. You know what I got to say? I'm, I'm siding with Mike on this one. Because you know why? Not that you well, needed that, but Mike is always, he's, he's, his, his, his priorities lie with the calls. And he's not, he's not going to just roll over. He's going with what he hears, Connor. <laughs> I respect that, but I will. I will put him on the topic. I'll say that he believes his own hype. Mike believes. I would agree with that also. Mike but, definitely. But he's one of the rare people where it becomes a strength. Yes, he's turned it into an attribute. Mike, Mike's belief of his own hope. And I want to say, how many of those dumb headshots have you sold, Mike? The new ones. There's a new one Mike is doing, where it's signed with a gold pen. It's twice the price. It's twenty dollars for the headshot, <laughs> and he signs it. Two thousand seventeen podcast Hall of Fame with a gold sharpie, and it's twenty dollars. He sold ten of them so far. I've just seen the one. Is there one that's got like multiple looks, like a policeman, a fire chief? Well, that should be the a next robber. one. Like a baby, like him with a giant <laughs> lollipop. Yeah, fun one. Just uh, and then there should be a resume on the back with fake. Uh, credits. Yeah, with his with his uh, other skills and things. It should be like uh, played Tom Cruise in War of Worlds. Connor, this is the greatest. This is this is the next one, the AP Mike four panel headshot. Or you know what he should do? You know how they have those like people in uh, third world countries that will write anything. Uh huh. He should hire them to write a resume. Over like Fiverr. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mike, go to Fiverr, hire someone to write your resume, and then we'll, uh, we're will we going to stage a photo shoot with you for a new headshot. And you're going to have to dress like a, a, a cop, a fancy fireman. fireman, fancy boy from the 30s. And, and, what, what, uh, was, what was his cop, fireman, security guard, and then like... Uh... Uh, it's like another one, a doorman. It's like three of them look very much the same. Just stra- strangely functional for like I don't I don't think we can see this guy in anything other than some sort of some sort of city worker role for this yeah. movie. Which wow. oh, be the deuce? He'd be great on the deuce as the uh, elevator inspector on the take. <laughs> Mike on the deuce as an elevator, as a crooked elevator inspector. All right. All right, Connor. Which, uh, Connor, I'm going to, bo- I got to roll. Every line is lit up. All uh, right. Let's figure you coming out. I keep saying that to you, but I'm going to figure it out now. And let's what's do no- it. What's November like for you? Uh, yeah, I, might, I think I'm around. Well, so I'll email you. Please. You're one of my favorites, buddy. One of my favorites. Okay, you have a great night. You too, buddy. Bye.